My name is Lisa Nakamura and I'm the director of the Asian American Studies program at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. I'm also a professor of digital media studies at the Department of Media and Cinema Studies here and professor of ethnic Asian Amer and Asian American studies as well. I'm going to talk about how YouTube can be used as an instrument for teaching ethnic studies, for helping students and the public connect with the past, which is preserved within YouTube, and also how it is that we tend to devalue YouTube as an art form, which isn't really an art. It's a grab bag of things, an assorted kind of hot mess of stuff that people have put up there. It's popular, it's hard to define and to pin down, and it's been recently criticized a lot as a technology of distraction. Scholars like Sherry Turkle have talked about how hard it is to teach in the age of YouTube. We're competing, supposedly, with YouTube for the attention of our students. However, this project, Perpetube and Alex Juhasz's book, Learning with YouTube, shows that YouTube is a way to teach and also a way to write and a way to learn. Looking at YouTube today, it can seem like a freak show with celebrities who never intended to be celebrities, such as Antoine Dodson or the Numa Numa guy, who we gawk at and laugh at and feel a little bit uncomfortable about doing so. But we don't have to force people to look at it, unlike a lot of the educational content we screen in our classes. Instead, people fall over themselves to see, somewhat like the freak shows of the early 20th century. Freak shows were a way for humans to understand the diversity of humanity. They were also a popular form not really considered to be an art, something profoundly in public, and in this way they're also like YouTube. So while academics may not respect YouTube, they're glad to dip into it to find a clip, a random thing they can throw into a lecture to make it spicy and interesting. In other words, YouTube functions for scholars like an alphabet. It doesn't really have a meaning in and of itself, but we can use it as a grab bag to spell out or do other things and accomplish other goals. Like Jacques Lacan said in the 90s about um, language, YouTube is structured like a language. He said that about the unconscious, but the same is true of YouTube. This is literally true in John Leonios' piece, Los ABCs, where he shows us the lexicon or the language of oppression and exploitation in the Americas. W is for Juanine. By a chain of command. He tells us a gothic story about the colonization of the Americas, broadly speaking, and the ongoing state of U.S. empire as an American gothic, with each piece a standalone vignette, uncanny, that one can easily clip and put into something else. It's a compositional device. Likewise, Edward Gorey, who is known for his alphabets of gothic horror, shows apparitions of the past, of um, gothic uh, images of people meeting bad fates. Um, this animated piece by a fan shows the Gashley Crumb Tinies as an animated um, story of American Gothic. So if YouTube is our culture's animated alphabet, what are people making with it? What can we make with it? What kind of stories about America and exploitation can we tell? Kara Keeling's work tells us the story of 70s liberation movements, the story of difference, using clips found from there, in a sense, repurposing apparitions from YouTube to tell a story. If YouTube is like an alphabet, a freakish, popular, fundamentally gothic alphabet, this is an opportunity for us as teachers and as scholars. You can't steal from the alphabet. It has no copyright. It is meant to be stolen from. Likewise, education is content that we want people to steal. Rather than viewing YouTube as our competition, instead we must learn to view it as a way to perform in front of the students who are our audiences, not our clients, but our peers. The history of empire, racism, and difference are tainted for students because of the culture wars. They are wary of talking about these things in class because of that time. However, YouTube is a technology and a language that can bring together 
a set of uncanny vignettes which we can use to get into the story of exploitation and colonialism and racism in the U.S. Is for violence of a slave expedition. W is for Wadi, tortured by a chain of command.